Equilibrium 2002 Movie Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Equilibrium, starring Christian Bale. And he has a little bit of that American Psycho look to him. You could tell this has heavy influence from The Matrix. It just has this Matrixy type vibe. Came out three years after The Matrix, kind of in the middle of them releasing sequels. The way that they dress, the attitudes they have, and even the, the gun skills that they have, it just feels very, very Matrixy. I thought I was gonna absolutely love this movie movie because when I look up the reviews at least the recent ones on IMDb they're all like seven eight nine ten like this is my favorite science fiction movie this is my guilty pleasure movie I just like it it's the best this movie has so many good ideas I just think that it just drops the ball on a lot of little things when it comes to the execution. Before I jump into the pros that I have with this movie, I do like the ideas that they have here. So basically the plot is nobody can show any emotion. Everybody's supposed to, when they hear this alarm clock outside, take their little dose of something to shoot into their neck, their little daily drug that everybody's taking. Basically the drug that they use stops their emotions from happening and the whole society is just no emotions whatsoever. And if you're caught having emotions, not taking your medicine, you're essentially put to death right there. And almost everybody in the society is on board. Even if you're my kid, even if you're my dad, it doesn't matter. You need to go right now. Another thing I really liked about this movie or I thought was pretty solid was Christian Bale in this movie. He kind of has that American Psycho vibe to him. Somebody wrote in the comments of IMDb, this is Bale cranked up to 10. And I don't know if it's Bale cranked up to 10, but I really enjoyed him in this movie. It's crazy, he's a British actor, but he pulls off the American accent so well. It makes me sad that American actors are so bad that this guy can come from England, completely change his whole accent to sound like us, and then do our movies. I really like the concept. I thought Christian Bale was pretty good, but unfortunately for me, that's where this movie ends with pros. And it really wasn't a bad movie. It's just that there were so many little things I wanted or little things that I had issues with that kind of hold me back from loving it or really getting engaged. So let's just jump into the cons that I have with this movie. And I don't think we got enough world building here. The movie starts off with just like clips of like riots and wars. And then there's this narrator and he's, he's explaining how everything is in the future and this and that. And like to me, I just really wasn't on board with it because we're just pretty much showing riots footage from what I remember. I like to be shown, not told. I'd rather you show me how everything got to this dystopian future versus tell me about it in three to four minutes. Every single spot, it just feels like a confined corridor. I needed more for the world building here and I just felt like I didn't get it. Another thing is the action. It's very bizarre. It looks very, very fake. And I mean, obviously, you know, something like the Matrix is going to be very fake, but the Matrix just looks so much more realistic. The fight scenes look so much more badass. Like apparently Christian Bale has taught this firing technique to where he can like guess the bullets of enemies. He basically can just stand in front of people and just do this and eventually they all go down. I don't know, it just didn't seem like interesting or like he had powers or believable. Like I liked something like The Matrix where I just felt like you could understand his abilities. He's Neo, he can do whatever he wants. Like, I don't know, it's just so much more believable. And then on top of that, there was little to no action. Like I wanna say, maybe I'm wrong, maybe you felt like there was a lot of action, but I could have sworn there was like two main big action sequences and then the ending and that was about it and it felt like you needed for this movie about four to five maybe six really good battles with action because not only was I unimpressed by the action but it was too long in between action sequences you know this movie is pretty long I think it's like an hour and 50 minutes but it really needed to be longer. It needed to have more backstory. It needed to have a longer ending. I'm gonna be getting to that in a second, but 
It just needed to be longer. It needed more backstory. I'm not going to spoil the ending here, but there's no real struggle for Christian Bale at almost any time. Like he's probably stronger in this movie than Neo is in The Matrix. I actually like when there's a little bit of struggle. It makes it feel bigger and more grand, you know, but essentially the ending, it could have been stretched out for 5, 10, 15 minutes. It felt like it was like two minutes, Christian Bale has like two final guys he has to fight. And it's almost just like, they pose such a small threat. You should have found somebody else to fight him or you should have written that these guys were stronger because these two last villains, these two last people that Christian Bale has to fight are pretty much like nothing. Like, I mean, he there is not one second of struggle on Christian Bale's behalf. It's just, oh, like I'm the best and I'm, I'm winning. I like that domination. I like when the guy is the best, but when it's too easy, it's not that impressive. If I had to rate this movie, I'd probably rate it like a 6.5 out of 10. I don't regret watching it, but it just has too much that I wanted to be done differently. Buy, try, or pass for me. I'm gonna say pass personally, but if this sounds interesting to you, definitely try it out. And I know I'm gonna have a lot of people coming on this video probably talking badly to me because every time I go on to IMDb, it just seems like people love this movie. Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.